caution will bring you into spoiler territory for the media displayed on screen. Timestamps are gifted in the description and comment section. Your discretion is advised. Death Note is a pretty popular anime and manga series that I don't think needs much explanation. I feel like that's especially backed up with the fact that this is one of, maybe if not the go-to anime to introduce non-anime watchers to the genre. So I don't think I need to also explain to you, but maybe depending on the person need to remind you, uh, about the live-action adaptation that Netflix released in 2017. This movie was widely panned by both critics and fans alike, but it completely slipped under my radar because in 2017, I had zero interest in watching anime, with the only one I ever saw being Sword Art Online Season 1 back in 2016. I would later in 2018 watch Season 2, then in 2019 delve into a lot more anime, and eventually in 2020 I found out about Death Note and decided to give it a watch. So needless to say, I've never seen Death Note 2017 and decided, meh. Fuck it, I'll go ahead and watch it and give my thoughts on it. It is its five year anniversary, so I guess that can also remind us all that 2017 was half a decade ago. Dear God, what the fuck happened to the concept of time? But anyways, let's not waste any more time and get into Death Note 2017. <laughs> The movie's really not that bad, to be honest. Uh, people are just mad because it's not accurate to the manga, but I think that's what makes it so great. It, it takes a different approach to the series that hasn't been done before, and they did in a pretty great way. Willem Dafoe is a great Ryuk. He brings a style to the character never seen before while implementing styles from past adaptations like Shido Nakamura and Brian Drummond. Everyone always gives Nat Wolf shit for his performance, but I think it was an interesting adaptation. He's not the big brain smart light everyone expects every adaptation to go. He, just like this movie, is different. They took light and made him more of the run-of-the-mill modern high school kid, giving the audience a different perspective to what you would have found in 2007. Lakeith Stanfield was great as L because he was black, and Margaret Qualley as Mia was a pretty good modern adaptation of Misa. In this day and age, it doesn't really make any much sense to have a teenage girl pop star, so obviously Light's love interest is going to be some hot girl at his school that he has a crush on. Everyone complains that he shows the Death Note to Mia, but it just goes to show how great this movie is when it comes to representing the average nowadays high school kid. Of course he's going to show the Death Note to Mia. He has something that nobody else at the school has, and he's obviously going to use it to his advantage in order to get the popular girl. The story is another big criticism by fans, but I just see it as a modern adaptation. That is all this movie is, is just a modern adaptation, and because of that, you need to set your expectations low when watching this and view it in a different perspective. This has nothing to do with the manga, and the fans are just butthurt over that, but when you actually watch the movie, it's a very enjoyable and different experience. If they had just copied the manga and anime, it would just be the same thing we've already seen. With this, it's a different view and take of the story, and that's what makes it pretty good. 